The pancreas is responsible for releasing enzymes that aid in digestion. When the organ is working normally, the enzymes become active only when they reach the small intestine. In a dog with pancreatitis, however, the enzymes activate when they are released, inflaming and causing damage to the pancreas and its surrounding tissue and other organs. The enzymes can actually begin to digest the pancreas itself, which causes extreme pain to your dog. Classic signs of pancreatitis in dogs include 1. Hunched back 2. Repeated vomiting 3. Pain or distension of the abdomen Dog appears uncomfortable or bloated 4. Diarrhea 5. Loss of appetite 6. Dehydration 7. Weakness or lethargy 8. Fever If your dog exhibits one of these signs and only infrequently, monitor her. But if she exhibits multiple signs at once and repeatedly, a call to the veterinarian quickly is vital. What's the difference between acute and chronic pancreatitis? Acute pancreatitis is an attack of pancreatitis, means it comes on suddenly with no previous appearance of the condition before. It can become life-threatening to other organs if the inflammation spreads. Chronic pancreatitis is a chronic condition that has developed over time, slowly, and often without symptoms. This condition can result from repeated bouts of acute pancreatitis. Both acute and chronic forms can be either severe or mild, and both result in pain. There are a number of causes and risk factors that can bring on pancreatitis. Among them are 1. A high-fat diet. This is the major cause of pancreatitis. 2. If your dog basically eats anything, or dietary indiscretion. 3. Obesity. 4. Hypothyroidism or other endocrine diseases. 5. Severe blood trauma. 6. Diabetes mellitus. 7. Certain medications or toxins. 8. There may, in some cases, be a genetic predisposition. Human food is especially dangerous, though even high-fat dog food may cause pancreatitis. Owner vigilance is particularly required around holidays and other festive occasions. This is one of many reasons that giving your dog table scraps, as tempting as it may be, is not advisable. How does a vet diagnose pancreatitis in dogs? 1. Based on your dog's medical history 2. Blood tests to measure pancreatic enzymes 3. Physical examination including stomach, gums, heart, and temperature 4. Radiographs or ultrasound to rule out other causes 5. Fine needle aspiration of the pancreas no tests should be used in isolation for diagnosis and all clinical findings should be used in conjunction to arrive at the most appropriate diagnosis. Because it is dangerous, a suspected case of pancreatitis needs to be addressed by a veterinarian as quickly as possible and not dealt with by DIY treatments. As with all medical issues, even the best online resource is not a replacement for the medical guidance from your vet. Treatment and Management of Pancreatitis in Dogs Early intervention to prevent further complication is key. The most common treatment and management options are 1. First and foremost, dog's pain must be managed. 2. Intravenous IV fluid therapy in severe pancreatitis. 3. Antiemetic medication for vomiting. 4. Antibiotics. 5. 
resting the pancreas, withholding food and water for 24 hours. Eating anything or even smelling food could have caused the pancreas to secrete enzymes and slows its healing. And long-term management includes 1. Vigilant monitoring of fat intake. No table scraps allowed. 2. Use of a low-fat, high-carbohydrate food. This means rice, potatoes, or pasta. Overcooking these starchy foods makes them easier to digest. You can gradually add in protein sources such as the skinless chicken breast. 3. When feeding a dog with pancreatitis, it's important to cook all the food even if you normally feed a raw diet. Because the dog's gut is compromised, it's necessary to remove fat and destroy bacteria. 4. Feed smaller, more frequent meals instead of one larger meal. 5. Since obese dogs are more prone to pancreatitis, they need to lose weight anyway. 6. Have amylase and lipase levels checked by a veterinarian regularly. Prognosis Mild cases of pancreatitis usually have a good prognosis. Severe cases have a more guarded prognosis due to the potential for systemic complications. Unfortunately, once a dog has had a bout of pancreatitis, the chance of recurrence is high.